I say, what's going on, my sexy pieces? Ew, she made me a Jane Drops back again with another best and worst reviewed restaurant joint in my state of Connecticut, of course. And, uh, oh, let me go ahead and get on the pull-up. Pull-up! Yo, if you are a heavy watcher of my best and worst series, please slap this video with a thumbs up, letting me know that you're on the super official check-in and you ain't even playing with your boy. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Park Avenue. Chill, then, mama. Then... Chill, mama! Now, just to let you guys know, the other day I dropped the best reviewed fish and chip restaurant in my state. So now it's time to drop the worst reviewed fish and chip restaurant in my stizzy. And it happens to be called Uncle Bucks in Bridgeport, Connecticut, inside of that Bass Pro Shop. So we about to slide to the After spot. Man, whoa, whoa. To the Stop Street. cutting the brother off, Muma. So we about to slide to the spot and hopefully they popping, and they're not really this two star by far of what they receive on Yelp. Cause they need help. Help! I need somebody help! Alright, foodie fam, as you can see, we're over here right now at Uncle Buck's Fish Bowl and Grill. I want to get right into these reviews right now because just by the looks of the spot, I mean, it's connected over here to Bass Pro Shop's Outdoor World. This is still fairly new. So why do they have a two-star rating with over 100 reviews? I'm, I'm curious. Ladies and gentlemen, have we just been catfished? I mean, on Yelp, they got two stars. But the moment I click the reviews, they almost got better reviews than our best location. Hold up. After seeing pictures of an underwater aquarium like Bowling Alley, I knew that I wanted to see it in person. So my friends and I decided to take a trip to Bridgeport with the kids in tow. I was nervous about going because so many, I don't want to talk about bowling. They have the Impossible Burger. Awesome service, great atmosphere, excellent prices. It's Bridgeport. Hope it doesn't close. Damn. Purchased a bowling and pizza package from Groupon. The bowling is so much fun. The place is decorated nicely. It looks like you're underwater. We were skeptical because other reviews said they're up to a four hour wait at times, but we didn't wait at all. Awesome place for bowling, blah, blah, blah. Can anybody talking about the food here? I've been wanting to come to this place for a while. I'm not glad that I made it. It's absolutely beautiful inside the design. I hear the design. Ain't nobody talking about the food. Oh, wait. I was able to finally try some of their fried gator. All right. I usually don't leave y'all reviews, but I feel Uncle Bucks has been underrated by many reviewers. The bowling and pizza package via Groupon is reasonably priced, and service was fantastic. All right, look. Nobody's telling me anything I want to hear. So we just gonna get inside Uncle Buck. So I typed up fish and chips. They got fish and chips. I'm here for your fish and chips at Uncle Buck's, who happens to get it too on the Yelp reviews. But we're gonna do our own reviews at the very end of this video. I type up my own review for those of you that are new around here. Please hit this video with a thumbs up. Be sure to turn on the notification bell. Be sure to subscribe to your boy and follow because I bang out fire every single week. Pop the butt cheeks. Pop the let's go, man. Let's go, man. It's hot. It's hot. I'm over here sweating. Sweating. You know who's upset about not being able to film and talk inside the establishment? This guy. However, the music is blaring. I'm not one to run up on management and shut down an operation. I'm, an, I'm nobody special. So I am going to have to give you a voiceover. Some of you like it. Some of you hate it. I apologize. But as you know, YouTube will not allow us to let music play in our videos without beating our videos up. And I want to make sure that all of you guys get this footage. Upon walking inside of Uncle Buck's Grill, as you guys can see, we have nice, comfortable seating off to the left, off to the right. So I, when I see something like that, I automatically assume, hey, listen, there has to be crazy wait times on the weekends here. And this is just to make sure that the patrons are definitely comfortable. Upon walking inside, I see exactly what everybody is talking about on Yelp. Everybody's talking about bowling. Everybody's talking about the aesthetics of the location. They're talking about the fact that it looks like you're inside of an aquarium, and it does. You see, like, the water waves all over the ceiling. You see the fish hanging from the ceiling. I almost wish that the bar was actually a shark bar with sharks hanging, but, you know, you got, like, blue fish over there. I'm noticing now that it's not just a restaurant, not just a bowling alley. It more so seems like a Dave & Buster's. You have a whole entire arcade section off to the left, of the bowling side so you have bowling to the right you have bowling to the left but if you keep going left you're in the arcade section of this restaurant of uncle bucks everything as far as the look 
if I was just rating it off the look alone, y'all, I'm heavy with a four and a half, but I'm here for the food. Now let's get into it. First up, I see on the menu that they have alligator. Now I do not recall the last time of me having alligator. If at all I had alligator, I literally do not remember, but you're looking at a green sauce right now. This green sauce is jalapeno and sour cream. Oh my goodness. Never seen green sauce like that before, but I'm thinking green, I'm thinking alligator. I'm thinking what a nice little offset, what a nice combination. You're looking at the alligator bites. These alligator bites, they look crispy and they look well seasoned. No matter how I turn these bad boys, they're looking like, 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 they're looking like little small, like fried, either fried clams and looks like fried clams with like thicker pieces of fried clams, right? A, a, a mix, a cross between fried clams and, and little popcorn, popcorn chicken nuggets, but whatever, I digress. I take a chomp on the alligator bites. My mind is instantaneously blown. I am having a flavor rush to the palate. It's crispy and it's it's not extremely chewy. So you're not sitting there chewing on like you're snacking on gum. You get a little a little gamey bite, but it's it, I mean it's really minimal. Nothing that's gonna really be off putting. It is flavorful, and that's because of the breading. Whatever they're mixing the breading in with back there in the kitchen, keep doing what you're doing. It is nothing short of amazing. I'm loving the alligator bites. These alligator bites, again, five all day, five all day, five all day on the play. I wish I can say I was here for the alligator bites and walk away, but I'm not. Uncle Bucks, I am here for the fish and chips. I need to find out why you're rated a two on Yelp. Or is it just a whole bunch of haters in Bridgeport? Let's find out. Now, the fish and chips came out looking exactly like the fish and chips at Max Fish. It looks like a little log that you put on the fire. I get three logs, just like I got three logs over there at Max Fish. And in the back of my mind, I'm not going to lie to you when I say I think this is going to be another greasy bite. I'm not ready for it. Look at my fingertips. Looks just as greasy as my greasy tips back at Max Fish. I took a bite, y'all, of the fish. With the batter that matters, with, with, with that fried batter that matters over it, I didn't get grease, I got butter love. I got the flavor of butter on my fish. So I don't know what they lathered this bad boy up in, but it's not an overly greasy bite. That's enough to excite me. Crispy, a light batter, not heavily crispy, not overly fried, a light batter, so it was a light fry on it. It was a soft chew on the fish, and it was fresh. Now, I don't know what we have going on or what they do different over here at Uncle Buck's, but please keep on doing what you're doing because I'm overly excited about it. And I'm over here looking at these french fries golden. Somebody was heavy with the salt hand. Let me go ahead and get a bite of delight on this bad boy. Hold on. Oh my goodness, why? are these fries hitting? Why are these fries supporting everything that I love about a great delicious bite? Why do these fries make me want to close my eyes and realize that all french fries need to be like this? I didn't even have to dip them up off in ketchup, though I will. A ketchup is all ketchup is going to do is just complement the nice potato jump that I'm getting up off of the fries and that's all I'm looking for at the end of the day. Now let's take this back to the crib and talk to Yelp. What's going on people, it's your main man Dame Drops. We are back at the crib right now. You already know what time it is. You guys have seen and experienced Uncle Bucks with me in Bridgeport, Connecticut next to the Bass Pro Shop. This is again one of those situations where our worst reviewed end up being better in my eyes than our best reviewed fish and chips location. And I'm about to show them the love right now as I go to type it up in Yelp. All right guys, so as you can see with Uncle Buck's Fishbowl, again, it does have the two stars here, 123 reviews, but we're just gonna go ahead and slide down and give them the love that they deserve. It's crazy because with the Max Fish, it was a three and a half, I gave them the four. With Uncle Buck's, for me, it's a four and a half, so I'm gonna give them the five. Simple, just like that, just, just like that, y'all. Just like that. If I was wearing a hat, my hat off to the staff at Uncle Buck's. Out the gate, the service from my waitress was amazing. I ordered the alligator bites and to my surprise, they were extremely flavorful. I'm not sure what seasoning is used in the batter, but the spice was just right. And that crunch and munch for lunch when I took my first bite sent a powerful shockwave through my soul. 
The gator was soft and had a minimal gamey chew. And when they say that everything tastes just like chicken, they were right, for it had some strong similarities. I ordered your fish and chips for this review and I am happy to report back that my fish was not overly greasy at all. The fried exterior actually had a hint of butter love on its taste and a very light crisp, while the fish itself held a nice tenderoni chew. Flavorful, even without the tartar sauce, but once I added the sauce, it only enhanced the amazing bite. And at the end of the day, what else can you even ask for? The french fries were salted up just how I like them, with a bite of delight that will have you not acting right for the night. Crispy, crunchy, and flowing with the type of chew necessary for any french fry to be taken in with love. Keep up the awesome work of Uncle Bucks, and I will be back for more for the overall experience. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just post that thing. Stop playing games. Post it! Get right into business, get right into business, get right into business. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, please, if you enjoyed the best and the worst series and you wanna keep this thing going, hit it with a thumbs up. Hit me in the comment section below. Let me know what other best and worst food you would like to see me do for season two. I greatly appreciate every last one of you. If you're new around here, be sure to turn that notification bell on. Be sure to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend because I give you this fire every single week, baby, like clockwork. It's your main man, Dave Drops, and I'm gonna see you next video. <laughs>